Well, turning now to this week's Ag Minute, Lauren Tom joins us. And Lauren, I understand it's the Tales of the Cocktail event, and you're really spirited about this one. I'm excited about this Ag Minute, but it's the toughest Ag Minute I've ever done. I have to say that. Well, there's a lot of speculation surrounding the cocktail. There's several plausible theories, including one that suggests the cocktail was invented in New Orleans. So to get to the truth, I traveled to the Crescent City to meet with a master mixologist who wants to set the record straight about the origin of the famous cocktail cocktail. Americans are the world's greatest cocktail consumers. Even the Mayflower carried kegs of beer, wine, and spirits for the pilgrims. In the 19th century, cocktails were expensive, since ice was expensive to make at that time. In the 1920s, thanks to electricity, ice was cheaper to make, and lights could light up bars so they could stay open late. Soon, well-heeled socialites frequented bars looking for cocktails, enjoyment, and adventure. Originally, cocktails were a morning beverage, and it was believed they were given that name as a metaphor for the rooster crowing at the light of day. But renowned New Orleans mixologist Chris Hanna, who tends the bar at the famous French 75, has spent many years researching the history of the cocktail and has his own theory as to how the cocktail got its name. Well, there's three theories of the history of where the cocktail came from. That's one theory is the cocktail was twist on tail of the cock, the cock growing cock's tail. The other theory of cocktail is the horse, a horse racing. The way you breed horses, uh, one's, one's called a cocktail because it's mixed, mixed breed, cocktail, mixed breed, mixed drink. But the theory that Chris Hanna believes doesn't have anything to do with roosters or mixed horses, but instead feels it has everything to do with New Orleans. I still like the New Orleans version of cocktail. Us, you know, like Americans ruining the word like we normally do, you know. Like Dixie from, you know, from Dix or whatever, for, you know, the French word for 10, Dixie. So basically, Chris Hanna believes that the cocketier, also known as the egg cup, which is what the New Orleans Sazerac cocktail is served in, was simply mispronounced by the people of New Orleans and called cocktail instead of a cocketier. Yeah, if more people would look, search for French and look for the words cocketier with some kind of French word for drink, you know, and try and uh, predate Bamba de Pecha, we might still have the uh, cocktail being invented in New Orleans. That's my hope anyway. You can find Chris Hanna attending the bar at French 75 at Arno's Restaurant in the French Quarter, where he's worked for the past 11 years, serving up some of the best libations in the Crescent City. If you'd like to learn more about the history of the cocktail, you can visit the Southern Food and Beverage Museum, now open in the Riverwalk in New Orleans.